density is qx is constant and it's given as q0 and it's acting on some known length l and this is going to be changed to an equivalent system where you have the Zorin force and then we need how far the load is acting from the left hand so that's a special loading because <coughs> the intensity is constant all over the length so you could call this as rectangular distributor loading I mean that's probably one name for this or you could call this as uniformly a uniform distributed loading and you're going to see a lot of this type of loading so <coughs> to find FR that's the integration of QX dx. So the problem you have is your loading is q0 is constant, dx remains as the integra integrand, then <coughs> it's going to choose our axis, again this is x, this is y, so we're going to have exact same here, you have x and this is y. So <coughs> Your load starts right from this point. That's x as zero. Then it ends at this point where x is l. So this integration is going to go from zero all the way up to l. Or <coughs> if you go to the integration, you get q zero dx x going from zero to l, or q zero x within limits. 0 to L or Q0 L. That comes out to be the resultant force. And we could have seen that from the beginning because if you look at this area, area of that rectangle, <coughs> the area of rectangle will be the length here which is Q0 and the length on the base that's L. So, when going through the integration, all you're really getting is the area of that rectangle. The next thing we need is this. So, if I sum the moments, we take this point as O, then it's x bar fr. And that, we know, is an integration of q x dx. So that will be q0 x remains x dx going to go from 0 to L. So that's q0 L square over 2. So your x bar would be q0 L square over 2 divided by fr which is q0 L. So this comes out to be L over 2. <coughs> so in case of the rectangular loading, your <coughs> equivalent force is just the area which is Q0 times L and the placement of the force will be at the middle of the length and that's going to be L over 2. So when you have a loading which is rectangular, then you don't really go through all this integration all the time. You just, I mean, you just know that if you had a load like this, then you're going to have a load here, which is going to be Q0L, and you're going to place that load right at the middle of the length. Can we look?